this was a uh, <clears throat> a nice request. I actually enjoyed doing this one. This was a, um, a an unusual little task. It combined uh, two or three tasks we've done previously. So working out if a number is odd or even, and working out if a number is bigger or uh, is big or small. Um, to um, to work out the largest and smallest odd and largest and smallest even number in an array of, of 20 random numbers. So to do that there's a few things we've got to do. I've declared some variables for maximum and minimum even, maximum and minimum odd. I've got a couple of pointers which I'll, um, I'll look at in a minute. Um, I've set the pointers to zero, I've set the max value to the lowest it could be which is zero, I've set the even to the highest it could possibly be, which is a thousand, so I've done the same there. I've got a couple of counter variables. And then I've got my array um, that I'm calling odd, an array that I'm calling even. Now, I'm looking for 20 values, which is why I've got the 0 to 9 count here. Um, it, potentially, I could get 20 odd numbers, so they'd all go in there and that'd be empty. Or potentially, I could get 20 even numbers, but that's the maximum I could get. Um, the idea was the numbers were random numbers, so I've used the random function between naught and a thousand. So the random function is n minus one. So a thousand and one will give me the number a thousand biggest. Excuse me. If the uh, there's the mod look, if the number is generated even, it bungs it in the even list. If it's odd, it bungs it in the odd list. And then what I'm doing is I'm increasing the pointer each time here. So as I fill up. The, um, the list okay as I fill up the odd and even list I keep a track of how many items I've got in each list so I can use that uh, value later okay so that's my random generation so if I just put a breakpoint in there and bring up the variable watch window and run the code there we go let's just pop that there So let's run the code. Okay, I'll just move that to one side. So you can see, look, it's filled up my odd number. There's nine, naught to eight odd values, and it's filled by even, and I've got uh, naught to ten, so I've got uh, 19 there. Uh, so I've 10 there, 11, sorry, there. And you can see that my pointer is set to 11, which is the the point at which that one finished and my other pointer uh, I'll point to 9 which is the point where that one finished so it's ready for the next item but it's going to stop at that point so as I come through the rest of the code okay so I'm going up to the even pointer um, obviously the minus 1 so it's 11 so we're going down to uh, 10 for example um, if the value that I found at that point is um, greater than the max, well the max was set to zero so it will be, so it goes through all the values for the even um, one and works out the largest, does the same for the um, even one here, okay for minimum and then break point there so I can see that run so let's carry that through, okay so the, where did we get to? So the even max was uh, 926. Um, let's look at the even numbers just to make sure that's right. Yep. And the even min was 192. So again, yep, that's correct. Okay. And then it does the same for the odd value. So if I just run that through to finish it off. So the odd max 965, we can see from there that's the largest, and the odd min for 261. Okay, so um, there we go. That's a, a lovely little program, I, I think. I might not have done it the best way, but it's a nice uh, little thing that, that, that uses arrays, it uses um, for loops and things. So, and modulo to, to fill an array up with odd and even numbers. Let's that bit there. 
to identify the biggest and smallest um, even number and to identify the biggest and smallest odd number and then to spit the output out so there's our output the large odd number was 965 large to even was 926 smallest odd was 261 and the smallest even was 192 so I, um, I hope that was useful for you I enjoyed doing that one um, if you've uh, found it useful like and subscribe and as always if you want to you can always buy me a coffee thank you